Hello, hello. I got a great question for you. What is it that the enemy is trying to take from you? Hmm. Well, the Bible says that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So he has a strategy. He comes to take something from you. And the reason you may not recognize it right off is because it's different for every person. Mm -hmm. You see, every born again believer has a purpose, has a plan of God for their life. Now, I don't suggest that the enemy knows what that plan is, but you know, the enemy can often see where we have great influence even before we do. And so if it's clear that we are making waves, let's say in the area of preaching or teaching or writing or praying and God forbid warfare against the kingdom of darkness, don't you know the enemy is going to create a strategy to shut you down, right? And shut you up. And so I discovered this in my own life, especially when it came to the area of strength. I found that I have battled um, just weakened immune system and tiredness. It feels like the majority of my life. And that's with doing all the right things. Well, when I begin to understand that this was as much spiritual than it was anything else, I began to resist the devil, just like the Bible says. And some days I'd have to get back into bed, but I'd go back into bed praying and doing warfare. I'd feel like, you know what? I'm going to make the enemy miserable today because if I can't stand up and pray, I'm going to lay down and pray. Well, maybe it's the same with you. Maybe you find that you are constantly in a physically weakened spot. Well, I want you to question yourself. Where is it that the enemy would find, quote unquote, victory in keeping you down and keeping you silent? Well, if you are called to pray, prophesy, teach, right, to lead, to, to write, to do warfare, then you will often find your strength, maybe your time, constantly hindered. Well, what about finances? What if you find that as a born again believer, that it never seems like you have enough to build the kingdom things in the earth like you have a desire to? Well, I think that you need to ask the Holy Spirit, is this a strategy of Satan to keep me from sowing the seed that will go into the world and change the lives of others? Ask the Holy Spirit, do I need to change my spending habits? How do I stand against the evil one in this area so that I fulfill my spiritual calling in being a world changer for the kingdom of God? Well, what about if you're called to be an encourager? Well, if you're called to edify and encourage the body of Christ, you might often find yourself falling into depression. Why? Because, hello, um, when we're depressed, we're not very good at encouraging others when we need so much encouragement ourselves. And so I just invite you to do a diagnosis, right? Inviting the Holy Spirit and say, what is the pattern that I see in my life that keeps me hindered? Is this an area where the enemy is killing, stealing, or destroying? And trust me, my friend, if he is, it's because there's treasure there. Come on. He's not just there to give you a bad day. He's there to shut you up and shut you down. But guess what? The Bible says that the believers have the overcoming victory. It says that by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, we are able to throw off Satan. Listen, you have the Holy Spirit, you have the Word of God, you have prayer, you have the armor. Man, we have been given so much to resist the enemy and to accomplish the purposes and plans that God has for us. So today I want you to take a, a look through your life and I want you to see where it is that you keep falling short and to realize maybe, just maybe, this is an area where the enemy has strategized in order to keep me silent and unproductive 
And then I just challenge you, I just challenge you to break it off in the name of Jesus and to do the very opposite. If you're feeling depressed today and you're a born again believer, then in Jesus name, I call you to get up and start edifying and encouraging the body of Christ. Why? Because the one speaking is the one listening. If you are struggling with your strength and with your health, then you find an area to prophesy. And all I mean by that prophesy the word of God. Just begin to read out the word of God, whether it's in your home or whether it's on YouTube, just begin to preach the word of God. Just even if it's word by word and line by line, yes, begin to do warfare, begin to pray. And I promise you that if it's a spiritual attack, you will literally feel things shift. So today, don't be discouraged. Recognize that as a valued child of God, that there's some things or something on your life that the enemy wants to keep hidden. But don't worry about breaking it off, shaking it off, shake off that devil and tell him, I am the salt and I am the light. And I am an overcoming, um, overcoming conquer through Christ Jesus who loves me. So peace and love, shake off, pay attention and let's get the kingdom work accomplished. Peace and love.